was basically she was lying in a um, walkway next to Ba Louie, um, downtown Providence. She was homeless. Uh, suddenly, a male walked past her and, as we understand, slashed at her several times, uh, causing an injury to her left hand and wrist, which she uh, later needed surgery to repair. Um, this was a very violent act. So we uh, began investigating it. We reached out to the media, and with your help, uh, we have a suspect under arrest. Was was this provoked in any way, to, to your knowledge? No. So, we don't, there was no provocation. The suspect came forward, from what we understand, after being told by several friends and co-workers, hey, I saw you, you know, on TV. Um, he came forward to say, yes, that's me, but I did not do the stabbing. So he was identified as 22-year-old Connor Knoll, N-O-L-L, -L, <clears throat> who is currently, who is from Pennsylvania, but is currently a Johnson & Wales student. Um, when we took Mr. Knoll into the station, he, he agreed to come in, we took him in, we questioned him. Um, again, he had stated that it was him in the video, but he did not participate in any stabbing. And then we showed him a little more video that the media didn't have. And um, I think it was it was safe to say at that point that Mr. Noel was charged with one count of felony assault. So in the meantime, because of the way the situation is and the way the stabbing occurred, uh, we checking all our back um, felony assaults with knives downtown. We're going to be in touch with Pennsylvania and anywhere Mr. Knoll has been previous to um, Providence. Nothing so, so far in that? We haven't started yet. Oh, okay. So after he saw the video, the video that we weren't able to see, <coughs> I mean, what was his reaction if you can tell us anything? Well, we can't really get into it that much, but like I said, he was immediately charged after that. Did the incident happen in the area where that video was shown, where he was walking? The incident happened right next to Balo. As a matter of fact, um, I think Mr. Knoll uh, had said he was drinking in Balo that night. Exited there, came out, and, and that's when it occurred. How's the victim doing at this point? The victim is doing fine. She had the surgery? She had the surgery, she's recovering. Is she getting any support um, from a Homeless organizations, is she still living on the streets? Yeah, she's, um, she's been supported through talking to a few of the detectives for, uh, through the last few years. She's been um, getting, getting some help from our people and other uh, of our partners to try and help her out. 